I know I'm not a big time treasure hunter like you, but I doubt you're gonna find El Dorado in there. Welcome gamers to my analysis of Uncharted Drake's Fortune, the first game in the collection from Nathan Drake. And this time we're gonna jump straight into the action. You can see the PS4 version here and the first big change is obviously the model. As expected and predicted, they're using the models from Uncharted 3, which is all ones that were created with high definition UV maps, and they're just re-coordinating these over the same rig from the original game, as you can see here. This is the face, neck, and hairline from Drake in Uncharted 3. This is a drastic change, as you can see, from the one in original Drake's Fortune, along with the increased quality on the assets on specular, diffuse, and normals, as you can see on the prison bars. This is also backed up by the fact that they've changed the specular and got rid of the glossy, sweaty skin look on everyone's face from this game and now mapped it with a far more diffuse and natural looking light system that was evident in the other games. A good example of this clear shift in lighting is here where the depth of field is far reduced along with the specular and lighting changes is completely different and far more subdued and like I say diffused here from the very shiny look you've got in this shot. All very intelligent and impressive work and I'm sure not as simple as Bluepoint makes it look. But what else have they done to the game? There must be more than just changing the rigs. And there is, there's a lot more. But we'll go through that in more detail during this trailer. I've recreated the entire trailer and all of the gameplay from the original PS3 Classic so you guys can get a chance to look at this way before the game ships in about a month's time. I will be playing this hands-on next week so I will be giving you a full feedback on how the game plays so please stay tuned for that and a lot more. But enough of me talking, let's get on with the Uncharted collection. As you can see, there's been some drastic changes on the cutscenes. Now, I don't believe the cutscenes are real time. In fact, I'm pretty much convinced now looking at them that they're still pre rendered movies, and this makes sense. The big shock here is fitting all of that footage onto a circa 50 gig Blu ray disc, but there's a good reason behind this. Sony's own SN systems have long since worked on a compiler function within the linker process that strips out any unused and repeated code to keep it small and tight. The linker side is basically the part of your compiler that transfers your language into machine code so your operating system and hardware can run this. It strips this out and makes it as uniform and as small as possible. Now one of the big things that they're working on here as you've just seen is they no longer need to actually have three texture sets and models for Nathan Drake across the three games like they shipped. Now that they're reusing assets across the games like I've just shown you and later on in the trailer you'll see there's many sections where they can reuse these assets. This includes things like grass, rock, buildings, fire. They can all be reused and the texture can be reused and obviously the higher quality models they've now got from the Uncharted 3 games and probably some from the Uncharted 2. This means that they can up res this quality and not take up additional amounts of space so it's not three games on one disc and obviously the work that they did with The Last of Us and the compression techniques for the video files to compress down to 1080 60 on that is going to benefit this game but I won't go into more detail on this it's going to be boring. Effectively they've done a very good job and it's been a long time standing job it's not something they've specifically generated for this particular game but it benefits them by squeezing all of this onto one disc and obviously reducing the download space which is vital with many people moving to digital download this generation. You can see here on the truck that some of the decals are missing on the vehicle, the Jeep, there's no dirt and mud on there. And then we move into the gameplay. Now one of the things going back and playing the PS3 version is the juddery movement. One of the things that I know that they've done with the game is they've improved control system and now implemented parts from the original Uncharted 2 and Uncharted 3 making it far more fluid. It is a bit of a juddery control system on the original PS3 release but this was Naughty Dog's first frame to third person shooters coming off the back of their platform days and this shows from everything from the camera system to the animation system with some previous shots showing the cartoon Hanna Barber type or even Scooby Doo type second look and it's the stuff from their Jack and Daxter animation days they were evolving when this game was made and they've evolved through their process now into what they make now which is far more grown up and almost gritty rugged animation process which is improved by the motion capture again this was the first game where they used motion capture also and you can see this in the gameplay here with the physics system although in place seems far more rigid and less dense than it does in later games but you can see the difference in shadow quality on the ground and on the trees you drive past and the increased quality on the textures on the rock faces you can see far more detail on the normal maps again most likely improved quality from the later games in the series and using reusing those assets but you can see the model geometry is pretty much identical in gameplay but you can see the explosions have changed they've gotten rid of that mushroom cloud explosion technique and implemented the far more particle based explosion that disperses from the later uncharted games along with the double frame rate and the god awful tearings now gone you can also see here as I slow it down that the motion blur, the radial blur, is now missing from the PS4 version. But this may be improved as it seems like a work in progress as more footage gets released as they achieve this 60fps lock. 
we're seeing more of this implemented, so this may still be improved before the final game ships, but you can see the difference in the decals with the PS3 version looking more reflective and probably slightly better than the PS4 implementation. But these are probably parts of the game where they've had to recreate assets themselves manually rather than reuse the ones that were available. This original game, Uncharted Drake's Fortune, is nearly 10 years old now, and even by Naughty Dog's own admission from their own Twitch stream, they said some of the work was written down in such a rough and ready way that Bluepoint would have had a hell of a job to get all of this back up and running, so some of the work on this game was probably some of the biggest of the entire collection. Even in gameplay you can see some of the changes to the lighting model with the removal of the reflection bloom and specular on the glass now completely on the PS4 version to the PS3. But this is always a fine balancing act when you go back and remaster a game I would imagine because you're always jumping between what you preferred then and what you think looks good now. This next shot shows a good example of the improved geometry in the asset of the terrain again in gameplay. Here you can see the rock is different from the PS3 to PS4 version which may or may not come from an improvement in the engine itself with the LOD levels either within cutscenes as this is where you're seeing the improvement really on geometry across all three games in the collection. Along with the improvement to the alpha effects here with the dust and particles you can see the improvements to the ground textures and the detail. We then get to see a good example of depth of field which is pair back and the LOD distance of shadows ambient occlusion drawing in on the PS4 and the explosion changes there which is a difference between the old and the new one and subjective in places. With the improved focal length here on the PS4 depth of field looking much better. A good example of the improved asset quality from newer games here is on the tree which is something you wouldn't really change mid gameplay but it's probably something they've pulled from the later games, most likely the forest scene in Uncharted 2. And all this collective work certainly allows Nathan to enjoy his work as much as ever. Again, as we come out of the cave, you can see the difference in the depth of field between the two and the motion blur as I slow it down, with the radial blur on the PS3 being missing on the PS4, and instead the per object motion blur from 2 and 3 implemented on Nathan as it spins around. But again, a minor touch, but something that you can notice in the gameplay, and this is something that was still in flux on all versions of the game, and even Uncharted 3 shipping without any motion blur and was patched in at a later date. So again, some of these things may change when the game finally ships. You can see here the difference in texture quality, with the road being completely different between the two, and most likely the texture on the new version has been used from elsewhere in the game Uncharted 2 or Uncharted 3, and this again points to the fact they're reusing assets cleverly, rather than remaking them all from scratch. But the actual geometry it's map 2 is identical. Here you can see in the real time cutscenes the motion blur implemented on the PS4 now which wasn't on the PS3 version. But not everything's an improvement as you can see here the shadow casting texture through the dust cloud is not only not present on the PS4 but the actual alpha effect is reduced as well. But this again points to the fact that they can't touch up every scene individually. You get a good example here of the decal difference between the mud and the text on the PS3 and PS4, but also the greatly improved shader work on the water reflections with the specular and movement with the PS3 version looking more like a green abyss. You get to see the subsurface scattering technique running on skin and the better colour tones along with that removal of specular reflection which gives everyone that latex like skin look. And then you see the starkest difference, again Uncharted 1 to Uncharted 3 Nathan Drake. You can see here the difference in face, hair, stubble, even the stitching on his gun strap now stands out and the vertices have been greatly enhanced on the steering wheel now looking far more rounded. But the clearest definition is the completely generational difference between lighting with Nathan on the old version looking more like he's just eating a powdered donut after running a marathon, far less like a manager. Damn it. Come on. <laughs> Going somewhere? Hey, Eddie. Did you really think you could escape from what? Oh no, I just giving the young lady the $10 tour. Shut it. So as you can see from this brief but detailed look at the game so far, Bluepoint have worked very hard in improving this game over the original PS3 version. I'm looking forward to playing this and the other two games in the Uncharted collection very soon and seeing what more they've improved and how else the game has changed. 
As always, I hope you guys and girls enjoyed this. If so, please hit the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate each and every one of you that does, and that will give you the first opportunity to see new content as I put it up on YouTube. I'll leave you with a few more minutes of Nathan Drake to see you out in his usual flamboyant style. It only leaves me to say, if you have any comments, please leave them below, and I'll see you guys and girls very soon on the next well, one. Hand it over. Well, now, you told me not to move. Looks like you're gonna have to come get it. Uh, come God's sake! No kidding. You know, I should have turned before the bridge. <sighs> <laughs> That's very funny. Oh, come here a minute. I want to show you something. That thing still works? Uh-huh. Check this out. Okay, see this building in the harbor? That's where all the boats coming into the colony would have unloaded their cargo. So if the El Dorado treasure came to this island, it would have had to have come through here. Wait a minute, what? What was that? What? Rewind it. Yeah? Wait, stop. Uh-huh. Right there. That's our ticket out of here. Come on. Our ticket out of here? Are you giving up? Maybe you hadn't noticed, but we're kind of outnumbered. <sighs> we're doing fine so far. Oh, Lord. Elena, I don't need your bullet-riddled corpse on my conscience. Let's go. Oh, please. You quit if you want to, but don't use me as an excuse. <laughs> fine. It's me, okay? I am quitting. Are you coming or not? So that's it. You're just gonna forget about the treasure and forget about Drake? God damn it, this is not worth dying over. Okay. Okay. Listen, either way, we have to head back to the harbor. Don't worry about it. We can argue about it later. It'll be great. Wait. This time, I drive. Okay. Looks like we've got company. 